And there goes the base heat shield right there in front of you. It just jettisoned. You can see it falling away from the spacecraft. It will reveal the airbags that will cushion Starliner's landing. Coming up on about one minute away from touchdown there in White Sands, New Mexico. Exact touchdown time will vary a little bit depending on the winds at the landing site, but everything's going smoothly. And I bet the teams there at the landing site are enjoying this view. Continuing to see views from the ground trackers on, on site uh, in New Mexico. Just and seconds left. You can left. see the mountains coming into frame there. We're getting very close to the ground. And touchdown Starliner. We're touching down in the desert of New Mexico, marking the completion of orbital flight test two. And that touchdown coming at 5.49 p.m. Central Time, almost exactly six days into the mission. Just a beautiful touchdown in White Sands this evening. Our landing recovery teams will now wait for clearance before making their way to the vehicle. Hey, Brandy. Yeah, hopefully you can hear me now. Uh, one of the joys of working from a really remote location is you do run into some occasional technical hiccups. I will say we've uh, got a bunch of certified wizards on the blue team here today uh, who are bringing us all of these different views uh, for folks around to, to take a look. Uh, but again, we're getting into our hatch operations, so the access panel on the hatch is getting opened up. Uh, there's a special tool that our, our lead hatch ops engineer is going to be using uh, to get that open. Um, the hatch can uh, operate within a, a pretty small range of PSI differentials on either side, basically just meaning uh, we need to make sure the, ha the pressure in inside of Starliner uh, is relatively the same as the pressure out here. And uh, after they get that confirmed, uh, we'll be able to get the hatch opened. That's right, Dan. And once we're done with this hatch opening procedure, we will be going through the closeout. Um, Starliner will actually stay overnight. Um, it will be sent to a processing center and then make its way back to Florida. Um, so we, Starliner will be, will be remaining here in New Mexico for a few more, few more days as we go through those procedures. Um, but again, we're very happy that we have Starliner back home here in New Mexico. And again, uh, that we've had this successful test flight in uh, preparation for our next crew flight test. And one of the operations we're going to be carrying out here is going to be cargo. Uh, we have some of the NASA cargo teams out here with the crews, uh, and they're going to be able to move in once we get the hatch open. Uh, we've got a small amount of really time-critical cargo that's going to come off, including some radiation monitors uh, and a couple of utilization items from our NanoRacks modules on board. Uh, then they're going to bring out a couple of other items just to test.